Anyway, now let's get you, do you relate do you reject Islam by heart? You don't want part of it. Islam is from hell. Muhammad is from hell. And but you don't Satan. do you want to be part of it or you reject it by you want heart? Me to be part of Satan? You want me to go to hell with your prophet? Then I'll become Nine, a Satan. Ten. Do you reject Islam by heart? Do you want me to speak Swahili? Let me say it again. From my heart, your prophet is in hell, mm -hmm. he's a son of the devil. Do you reject the Jesus of the New Testament, who is son of God, who says, I am the way and the truth and life from your heart, which means your prophet is in hell under his feet? From your heart, do you reject that? Not by Jesus heart. says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Since your prophet reject Jesus as God's son, he's in hell under the feet of Jesus, under his shoes. Do you reject from your heart that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and he brings you to the Father? From your heart, do you reject it? Say, I'm going to play not your from my heart. Not from my heart. Okay, good. That means there's hope for you. So now Jesus says, I am the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. One of the 99 names of Allah is the truth, Al-Haq. It's mm -hmm. never used for a prophet in your Quran. Jesus says, I am the truth. And then Allah is the light. But Jesus says, I am the life. Now, can you show me in your Quran where a prophet says, I am the life? There is no verse that says that. Okay. Can you show me in your Quran where a prophet says, I am the truth? I mean, I can search, but I would no, say isn't. I don't find anything. No, there isn't. Yet Jesus in my Bible says, not only mm -hmm. I am the way, I am the truth and the life, and you cannot come to the Father except through me. If I go with my Bible and I don't do what you Muslims say, because you got to say it's corrupt, because if you admit it's not corrupt, it buries Islam. No, no, it's changed. But then I read this corrupt Bible, how beautiful the words are, much more mm -hmm. beautiful than your Quran, which is not corrupt. And I see Jesus, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. So Jesus says, I am the truth. No prophet says that. Mm -hmm. Only your God says that in the Quran. I am the life, something only your God says. But then he says, he brings you to the Father. So is Allah your Father? No. And yet Jesus said, he is my Father. So you just proved you're Allah is Satan. So why are you following Allah? He's not the God revealed in Jesus. Because I don't believe that God revealed in Jesus. But you just told me Jesus is Messiah, the son of Mary. Of course you believe that God revealed himself in Jesus. But it never says that God revealed himself into Jesus. Oh, so then when Jesus came, he wasn't revealing God to you? What was he revealing then? The word of God. And the word of God is what? God's revelation so you can know who God is? Yes. Okay, so God revealed himself in Jesus. So did God revealed himself God in every prophet. God himself in Muhammad because Muhammad is a liar. So did God revealed himself into Moses, Abraham? And Moses and Abraham said, God is the father, which you just buried yourself. Because Moses said, God that sent him is the father mm -hmm. of Israel. You sure you want to go with Moses here? Deuteronomy. So God revealed himself in Moses, in Abraham, in every prophet? Now what reveal meaning he sent them to make people know who God is. And Jesus mm -hmm. says, the God that I make known is my father. And if you believe in me, he will be your father. But now let me show you the God of Moses. Deuteronomy okay. 14. This is now the Old Testament that the Jews follow and not just Christians. This mm -hmm. is the same Old Testament of the Jews who are not Christians. Deuteronomy 14 verse 1. You are the sons of Yahweh, your God. You are the sons of Yahweh, your God. So here the God revealed in Moses who sent Moses to make mm -hmm. himself known. He says, you are the sons of God. You're my sons. Again, are you a son of Allah? No. So then you don't worship the God of Moses. You're lying. Because God of Moses said, those who follow the covenant that I established Moses, they are my sons. So your Allah is not the God of the Jews revealed in their Torah that they believe is not corrupt, which we accept with them. Nor is it the God that sent Jesus to make us know that that God is the father of Jesus. And if we believe in Jesus, he'll be our father. You just admit that's not your God. So why should I follow your Quran? Like I said earlier, I don't know. So then why do you follow it? Exodus 4.22, here, again, this is Old Testament. Ask the Jews, mm -hmm. hey, uh, can you open up your Old Testament? Can you read this? It reads the same way, because these books were with them before that we had them. Okay, Exodus 4.22. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, thus says Yahweh, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Israel is my son, my firstborn. And then I read to you the Psalms, mm -hmm. where he says to the king, you are my son, today I begotten you. So do you believe the king, the Messiah king, or even David the king is the begotten son of God that was anointed, whether David or Solomon or Jesus, mm. that that king is God's son begotten by God? No. Okay. So the God of Moses says Israel is my firstborn son. The God who sent David, who sent yes. Solomon, who will raise up the king says, you are my son today, I've begotten you. The God who sent Jesus said, this is my son. I'm his father. And Jesus says, I take you to my father. And if you believe in me, he'll be your father.
But the God of Muhammad says, no, I'm not a father to anyone. Who do you want me to believe? All these different prophets and their writings that came before Muhammad or say, no, nah, it's all corrupt. I'll follow Muhammad. You must be on drugs to follow Muhammad. I'll be honest with you because Moses says, God mm -hmm. is the father. We are his sons. David says, the kings of Israel are the sons of God and he is their father. Jesus says, God is my father. I'm his son. If you believe me, you'll be sons of God. Muhammad comes and says, no, Allah is a father to no one. None of us are his sons. But well, let me show you other prophets. These are now these are the Jewish prophets, the scriptures that the Jews have yeah. we accept. So it's not just our scripture. Here, Isaiah 63, 16. Now, here he says to God, For you are our father, though mm -hmm. Abraham does not know us and Israel does not recognize us. You, O Yahweh, are our father. Our redeemer from everlasting is your name. Isaiah 63, verse 16. And Isaiah 64, 8. But now, O Yahweh, you are our father. We are the clay, and you are our potter, and all of us are the work of your hand. So Isaiah says, God is our father. Moses says, God is our father. David says, God is our father. And he begot me to be a son to rule for him. Solomon says, God is my father, I'm his son. Jesus says, God is my father, and if you believe me, you are sons. Muhammad says, Allah is not the father, we're not his sons. So I got multiple witnesses, all before the Quran, agreeing, and Muhammad comes and contradicts, and you want me to follow Islam. So then how can your God be the God of David and Moses and Isaiah and the God revealed by Jesus? I'm still waiting for that answer that you kept trying to avoid. I don't know. I hear you have it. I don't know. It's not. When are you going to realize your Quran is a joke because the Bible proves your Quran is false? This is why you got to say the Bible is corrupt. I mean, I never identified with the term Christian. I was a hypocrite back then. That's fine. What I'm saying is still didn't really okay. Even though I'm a hypocrite, still my background is Christian. Maybe I should just pick up the Bible and read Matthew, Mark, Luke. And, not saying you were, but you said you come from mm -hmm. that background. So you already knew about Christianity. So you should have said, hmm, let me pick up the Bible. Let me read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, learn about Jesus. Instead, you didn't even think about picking up the Bible. Someone gave you a crown. You read, oh, wow, this is true. Where is no, it? I'm not look, Sam. I mean, like back then, I said I was a hypocrite and like I made fun of God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. And I would say I feel like I don't know the term right now, but okay, that's fine. So, why don't you go back and read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? You've read the Quran, right? Yes. Why don't you now take a week or two mm -hmm. weeks? Just read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Just read it. Not to believe it, just read it. What but I mean, how could I like read the book where I made fun of? But Jesus said, all blasphemies against me will be forgiven. All blasphemies against me will be forgiven if you ask. So you let Satan play with your mind because you're afraid that I insulted him and he will never forgive me. And you ran to another religion. That's I mean, I just didn't just um, insulted him. I insulted the Father, the Holy Spirit, the prophets. Oh, okay. But the Holy Spirit, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is when the Spirit convicts you. And he keeps trying to get your attention and you keep resisting him. And then you reach a point where he's done with you. But he's not done with you because if he was done with you, you wouldn't be talking to me. Start reading Matthew, then Mark, Luke, and John. Take a week or two. Just read it to yourself. Mm -hmm. When you're done, come back to me. And if you have more questions, we talk.